Okay, you're going to have to move in. Because you know what? We have to hold hands today. We can't let air out. Everybody happy? Yeah. Are you? Okay. So, why do people hold hands? To do what, Ariel? To show love that you like someone? Okay, because you don't hold hands with people you don't like, usually, right? Can you think of a time you might hold hands with someone you don't like? No, you can't ever think of that? What about, why would you hold hands, say, with your parents? Okay, because you're happy. Any other reason when your parents take your hand? To not get lost. Okay, maybe there's a lot of people around and they don't want you to get lost and get hurt, so they hold your hand. Do you like that when your parents hold your hand? William? <laughs> Why not, William? Sure you know. You can tell us. There's nothing wrong with it because I know why. It's embarrassing. it's embarrassing, yes. Because you're old enough, you should be able to not have to hold their hand and stay with them, right? And we think sometimes the older we get, there are certain privileges we should have. One of them is not having to hold our parents' hands so we don't get lost. Or maybe hold the hand when we cross the street, right? But there's something nice about holding hands when you think about it because it reminds us that there's someone who's always there with us just in case something's going to happen. And today we're going to talk about holding on to our faith in Jesus because he holds our hand, he sees us through the days of our life, keeps us from being lost or being safe, and he does it just to remind us that he loves us that he wants us close to us, and that we want to be close to him. So we should never think with Jesus that we've outgrown holding his hand or that we're too old to be seen liking Jesus. We always want to be by him. We always want to be close to him, and we always want to put our faith in him, okay? All right, go back. Now your moms and dads, hold their hands today. <laughs> 